To Eureka now, more support is needed for those living with dementia, and it's on the way. Sam Matheny explains how one nonprofit plans to aid those living with this dangerous illness. Knowing that he's not going to get lost in the community when I turn my head is huge. A recent survey shows 85% of Eureka residents know someone locally who has dementia or has signs of it. The nonprofit Dementia Friendly Eureka will launch an initiative in August. They will provide trainings for businesses and people in Eureka to help those with the illness. 21 leaders from the area are involved in the plan, including the Carl Health Hospital, the county, and the city. When you see somebody at the grocery store and they're a little lost or they're having trouble with their finances at one of the banks, those team members know how to recognize that and how to get help. And so our group will help navigate and point those people to those services. The program will include a resource guide with information on dementia-friendly businesses and free tracking bracelets from the Woodford County Emergency Management Agency so if someone with dementia goes missing, first responders can find them quicker. It's a very important tool and you know it's an unfortunate disease that has to happen, but knowing that this is in our county uh, makes me certainly more comfortable that uh, we can get people back home to where they need to be. Mike Sarver was diagnosed with a form of dementia. He and his wife Kelly say the program will help them know what to do when Mike's health gets worse. Kelly says she's a former health care worker and had no idea how to support her husband until now. The biggest uh, downfall is they don't talk about it enough. If you have it, then you kind of got an idea to what to you know, pass on to someone else helps us all in the long run. An informational meeting will happen on August 1st from 6 to 7.30 p.m. at Liberty Bible Church. It is free and open to everyone. In Eureka, Sam Matheny, 25 News.